For this video, I'm going to show you the new silicon finger protector. Here I've created a little embellishment. I've die cut the embellishment out of hot glue. So I'm just going to squirt some hot glue onto the crafting sheet and then I'm going to use the finger protector and just mess up the glue. Now I'm going to take some of this lovely wow embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. And I'm going to take some of the sticks to beads from the tri pack and I'm just going to sprinkle a few of those. Now because I've used embossing powder with the glue I really need to heat it up Now I'm just going to add a couple more micro beads while it's hot. So now that this is cooled and we can tell it's cool, you can put your hand above it or your hand underneath the sheet. So now I'm going to take some foil, shiny side up and press firmly along the edges where there is no embossing powder or beads. Press onto that hot glue. And there's probably some up the middle, so I'm just going to burnish it. And then once you're happy that you've transferred some foil onto the clear bits, all we're going to do is lift it off the mat. And then transfer it to the die cutting machine. I'm going to place it onto the little bird. and pop it through the die cutting machine. So now you've got this lovely embellishment. I'm just going to use some of the red tape and place that onto the back and then I can attach it to the card. If the hot glue's thick then you can use a little bit of hot glue on the back but when it's going on a card, I would just use a little bit of the extra strong red tape. Then I'm just going to pop this onto the card. And we've got a lovely bird embellishment made from hot glue using the new silicon finger protector just to mess the glue up. So the silicon finger protector, you see me using it with hot glue, but it's also great for using with your needle craft and even just taking up trousers with the sticks to hem and tape. I've placed a piece of tape there. Then I'm going to fold the hem over and without sewing it, you can keep it in place with the finger protectors and then obviously use the iron and you're not going to burn your fingers. 